This is the laboratory where we make organic solar cells in the Quinn and Bazan groups. Basically, we start with a substrate that consists of a glass slides with a layer of a transparent conducting indium tin oxide layer on top of them, which acts as uh, an electrode. We take the substrates out of this oven and put them onto a spin coater here where we apply a layer of uh, what is called P-dot or polyethylene dioxythiophene, which acts as a P-type organic buffer layer between the transparent conducting oxide and the semiconductor that we will add next. After the P-dot has been applied, we bring them into a glove box over here to apply the organic semiconductor layer. The organic semiconductor layers have uh, different properties depending on what material is used. Uh, they're usually colored, uh, so I have a couple of examples here. In this case, there's a red organic semiconductor, which has a band gap of about 1.9 electron volts, or uh, we can also have green organic semiconductors, and they're usually dissolved in organic solvents, which can be spin-coated onto the substrate. What we make mostly is solar cells in the lab. So uh, for a solar cell, you want a material that absorbs a lot of visible light. So blue or green colored organic semiconductors tend to make better solar cells. So we spin coat the semiconductor layer in this glove box and then bring it into the next glove box where we need to apply electrodes to finish the solar cell. So the way we apply electrodes is using an apparatus called a thermal evaporator, which basically consists of a vacuum chamber, and at the bottom of the vacuum chamber is a lump of metal that we heat up to a very high temperature, and it basically vaporizes under vacuum and travels through a stencil that patterns an electrode onto the organic semiconductor that we made previously. Um, after that electrode has been applied by thermal evaporation, then we basically have a finished solar cell and we're ready to take it to the next uh, laboratory to characterize it. My name is Bright Walker and I'm a fifth year graduate student with Professor Wen's group.